boxing finals at the Empire Pool, and here are the middleweights, Johnny Wright of Great Britain and Ladislav Pop of Hungary. The young British boxer in white trunks put up a brave show, but the speed and terrific hitting of Pop won the day. Johnny Wright had striven in vain to win an Olympic title for Britain, and the new Hungarian champion paid tribute to a gallant opponent. Over now to Windsor for the cycle road race of 120 miles. The Duke of Edinburgh was there to wish the 96 riders good luck and to start the race. A massive getaway, but more than 40 of the field but a dropout before the end of a punishing course. Danger on the curves and troubles never come singly. Break Heart Hill, and for the cyclists of 29 nations, it's well named in any language. Around the course, they pick up spares or refreshments at high speed. Bad luck for two of the many who didn't ride home. Another turn coming up, and two more of the field coming down. Plenty of harsh things were said on both sides, and didn't they say them? They won't finish the race, but they will finish that argument. Nearing the end of the course, and Britain, France, Belgium, and Holland were represented in the thinned out field. A final sprint, and it's the Frenchman, Jose Bayert, coming home to a great win, gaining France her third title in Olympic cycling. And so, for the last time in the 14th Olympiad, the crowds are again packing Wembley Stadium as the nations gather for the closing of a great festival of sport. Once more, the standards range themselves round the central days as the president of the Olympic International Committee, Mr. Sigrid Edstrom, speaks to the world. I proclaim the closing of the Games of the 14th Olympiad. In, and in accordance with tradition, I call upon the youth of every country in the world to assemble in four years at Helsinki, there to celebrate with us the Games of the 15th Olympiad. The Olympic flag is then handed to the Lord Mayor of London for safekeeping until the 15th Olympiad, while the trumpets sound a fanfare. And now, the Olympic flame, first kindled in far-off Greece, begins to grow dim. At the same time comes the lowering of the flag, which has linked five continents in a brotherhood of sport. The flame of the 14th Olympiad has sunk and died, but its message will live on to kindle new hope and new faith in the hearts of men. <laughs>